Hi, my name is Mr. D, and today I want to take a look at writing an equation for a perpendicular bisector. So we have the problem, write an equation of the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB, whose endpoints are A, 8, negative 2, and B, 4, 4. So what we need to do is we need to hit a few key points in order to write this equation. That is, we break the problem down in steps. So what we could do first is we could find the slope of our original line segment. So now just to get a visual of what's going on, we have 8, negative 2 is somewhere out here. We don't need to be precise because we just want to get a feel for what's going on. And 4, 4 would be somewhere up in this range here. So what we need to do first is find the slope of the original line segment. And to do so, we have our equation for slope. So we have m equals, and now our points we're looking at the point 8, negative 2, and we have 4, 4. So these are the endpoints of this line segment. So if we label them accordingly, we can call this one x1, y1, and the second point x2, y2. So now all we need to do is plug these values into the equation for slope. So we're doing 4 minus minus 2 see y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we have 4 minus 8 so this tells us right away that our slope 4 minus a minus 2 becomes 4 plus 2 giving us 6 and 4 minus 8 is negative 4 so now we have a slope of 6 over negative 4 but we need to reduce this so we could reduce this down to negative 3 over 2. So we have one important piece of information. We have the slope of our original line. But now what we need to do next is consider the fact that the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. So when we construct or when we look at our next line, our perpendicular bisector is going to slice the original line in half and form a 90 degree angle. So by definition, a perpendicular bisector cuts a line in half at 90 degrees. So what this tells us is since we know the slope of the first line, to find the slope of the second line, our perpendicular bisector, we need to use this fact. That is, we're going to take the negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 2. Because if the slope of the first line is negative 3 over 2, the slope of the second line has to be the negative reciprocal of the original slope. So our new slope, we could call it M2 if we want, or we could just call it M, and we'll put a symbol for perpendicular. How we get our new slope is we're going to take negative 3 over 2, and we're going to find the negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 2. So we flip it, and then we negate it. But when we negate a negative number, that number becomes positive. So our new slope is 2 over 3. So now this one here is our first piece of information that we need. So this will give two stars to indicate we have one piece of the problem. So now next, in order to find a point that's on our line, notice that the only point on AB that's on our new line is the midpoint. Because remember, it cuts the line in half, and the middle of the line, or the halfway point, is the midpoint. So what we need to do is, we're going to find the midpoint of the original line segment. So now we look at the new equation, and midpoint, what we have is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So what we need to do now is we're going to replace x1, we could replace that with 8. So we could do this all in one shot. So x1 we replace with 8. We have x2 we could replace with 4. y1 we replace with negative 2. And then finally y2 we could replace with positive 4. So now we simplify. And we could call this big M for midpoint. 
And now in the next line, 8 plus 4 is 12 over 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So now we simplify it once again. And we have that our midpoint passes through the point 12 divided by 2 is 6, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So now from this step here, we have our two pieces of information to write the equation of a line. Remember, our goal, or what we need in order to write the equation of a line, we need a slope and we need a point to plug in. We need, we need an x1, y1, and we need an m value. So we have our slope and our point, so now all we need to do is plug this in. So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So what we could do is we replace, this is our x1, y1, so we could replace x1 with 6, since this is our x coordinate, and we replace y1 with positive 1. And now we can replace m, our slope, with the slope of the line we're trying to build an equation for. Remember, this was our perpendicular line, and the slope for our perpendicular line is 2 thirds. So we replace m with 2 thirds. But remember, we need this to say y equals mx plus b. So what we want to do is we're going to distribute this 2 thirds. So we have y minus 1 equals, and now 2 thirds times x is 2 thirds x. And 2 thirds times negative 6, we could call this negative 6 over 1. So now 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. We multiply the numerators. And now 3 times 1 is 3. So when we multiply 2 thirds times negative 6 over 1, we get negative 12 over 3. So for the next line, we can simplify it. We have y minus 1 equals 2 thirds x minus, and now 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the last step to get this to say y equals, we're going to add 1 to both sides. Now minus 1 plus 1 will cancel, and we have y equals, and we have 2 thirds x, and now negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So our equation for our perpendicular bisector is y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on writing an equation for a perpendicular bisector. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.